Welcome back to Quick Tips. Today I'm going to tell you how to create Windows 10 installation media for either a DVD or a USB flash drive from Microsoft for absolutely free. This is not going to allow you to activate Windows. You cannot get a product key for free, obviously, but this will allow you to install Windows completely 100%. It's not any trial software, doesn't include any viruses. This is directly from Microsoft, and this is how you'd install Windows even if you did have a product key. I'm going to be using a flash flash drive today, make sure your flash drive is greater than 8 gigabytes because you'd be surprised how big Windows installation media actually is. If yours isn't, just go out into your local Best Buy or whatever. I picked a two pack of 32 gig USB 2.0 drives up for under $10. What you first need to do is go on to Google and search Windows 10 media creation tool. Click on the first download link that says download Windows 10 disk image. This is from Microsoft.com. This is not from someone that is trying to rip you off. It's not a pirated copy of Windows. And then click on download tool now. And then when you have a UAC for Microsoft Windows, accept that. And then the tool will start up. It's going to read Windows 10 setup and just wait a bit for it to get a few things ready. And then once that's through, accept the user license agreement. Make sure you read it also. Then it has to get a few more things ready. If you want to upgrade your computer to Windows 10, you can also use this tool for that purpose. So you don't have to always create media and then install. So like I said, to upgrade this PC now, that is not what we want to do. We want to create installation media. Select that, click on next, and then if you leave use recommended options for this PC selected, it'll look at the processor, it'll look at the version of Windows, and it'll all copy that information. So if you're doing this on an older like 32-bit computer, make sure to unselect this and then click on the appropriate options for your specific computer. But this is all correct, so I'm just going to click on next, and I want to create it on a USB flash drive. This will allow you to do what's called an ISO file also. That's what you need to use if you want to burn a DVD. It was unreliable 10 years ago. It's still unreliable today. Just go ahead and get a flash drive. So right now, insert your flash drive. Make sure all of your important data is off of this flash drive also. But since this is literally brand new, it has nothing on it. Leave USB flash drive selected, and then it has picked up on the drive. So click on next. If it's the wrong drive, click on the change this drive button and make sure it's the correct one. Editor's note, you can see what the drive left and label is. When you plug it in, it'll pop up right here. When you look under this PC, under the devices and drives tab, it has a label first, ESD-USB, and then a letter in colon. When you see the removal devices list, you will see that letter first and then the label. Make sure that's correct. And if it isn't, continue pressing refresh this drive list and continue removing and plugging in your USB drive, possibly in different USB ports. And then it'll download Windows 10 onto the flash drive. Drive. And this is what's going to take a while. It's around like four or five gigabytes. Right after it gets through downloading, it's going to bring you to creating Windows 10 installation media. This should be considerably faster. It's working away. Look at it go. Once that finishes, it'll say that your flash drive is ready. So you can safely click on finish and then take the drive out of the computer. And I'm going to go and put it into my physical computer and show you that it is in fact bootable and it does in fact start the Windows 10 installation. All right, so let's get this plugged into the back of the computer. The good old reach around. So now we can turn on our computer and wait for it to do a good post. And as you can see, we are into the BIOS. Make sure that you are using a modern BIOS that does support booting off of USB. Most computers made within the past 10 years should support this. So I'm going to select my PNY USB drive, make that boot option number one. Then click save and exit, then wait for it to post again. And as you can see, it's already booting into Windows 10. This SSD is completely clean. I literally just went out and purchased it today. It'll be a lot faster than loading with a DVD, just because USB doesn't have to spin around a disk a bunch of times a second. As you can see, we have booted into Windows setup. So I'm going to click on next, install now. And then when you get to see activate Windows, click on I do not have a product key. And then you can select the Windows version that you do have a product key for and Microsoft will be perfectly fine. You can go and accept the user agreement and then just start installing Windows just like you normally would. There you go, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope this is very informative and I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you all in the next quick tips.